Okay, so we have uh, our one enemy, and he just sort of uh, moves along the screen. Um, that's sprite three, object three. Um, but w there are other enemies. Um, pretty much anything you can think of, you can do if you know how to do it. So let's look at that. So um, let's create another sprite. Okay. Um, fill it black, and uh, we're gonna do animation for this one. Okay. So you copied and pasted. And pasted that sprite. Can you just show us that again quickly? You went too fast for us there. Yeah. Right, hold on a second. Uh, there is image copy. zero. Copy. Copy it. Paste. And paste it. And we get a copy of it. So now we have two copies of it, but fine. So you just did a copy, paste. And then I press delete. Fine. So you're getting rid of his mouth, and you're going to animate by making his mouth a little different? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you just explain what we're looking at here? Because we've got the two sprites, image zero and image one, and it seems to be going back and forth between them and I see speed 30, that's just uh, an example speed. So yeah. it, it'll go at the speed that, that the room is at and yeah. that's a default yeah. value. What is that? So um, we're going to change this because this is a little fast and um, we also don't want it to be transparent so we're going to uncheck this and okay. yeah that's and then we're going to make another object. And again, the object gets its own number. We associate it with that drawing. And just so I understand, sprite 5 is composed of, of image 0 and image 1. So the yeah. com complexity here is that you have an object which consists of a sprite, and the sprite itself now consists of two images that get animated according to the speed of the room. Yeah. Or you can also set them by going to the control tab, variable, set the variable, uh, image underscore speed. Um, if you want it to be small, uh, slower, you uh, uh, make it a decimal. I'm going to put 0 0.4. When you say a decimal, you mean you make it a fraction of... Uh, a, a fraction? Lower than one. Less than one. Okay, and this is a built-in variable to game maker. Yeah. Okay. It's the speed for the current sprite. And um, the step event is um, executed during the whole game. Every time. Every time. The clock moves in the game. Yeah. That's that's the time, basically, step. And you're going to tell now it... Now we're going to put um, some code in. Okay. It's in the control tab. And we're going to type in move underscore towards underscore point. Okay, if we just look, get the focus down a bit here... GameMaker helps us when we start to type the name of a built-in function, and those are all accessible in the yeah. in the manual for GameMaker. You get an ex example of what the function requires. So to this, work. in this case, it requires the x point yep. that it should go to, the y point, and xp uh, stands for speed. Okay, and those are uh, those need to be numbers. We can get the yeah. numbers in any number of ways. We could actually put a number in, or we can use intelligence to do that. So how are we going to yeah. do it? So for the X, um, we're going to want it to move towards object zero. Which is the player. Which is the player, yeah. So we're doing some 
real intelligence here. Instead of having just the red thing running across the screen, we actually are telling this enemy, uh, we want you to go and find the player. Yeah. So we're going to go object 0 dot x. And um, if it turns purple, you know the name is correct. Then you put a comma, object 0 dot y comma, and then the speed will be 2. Okay, so, so we want it to go slower than the player, otherwise it will just dominate him. It will be too hard. Yeah. So uh, object 0 dot x, um, the that maker knows where object 0 is at all times. And it tells the object that whatever is after it is belongs to this object. Okay, and so that's useful for our enemy because we need yeah. him to know where his target is. Right. Yes. Okay, that's done. Object zero. Uh, we don't want to do the whole thing again, so we're just going to duplicate the event to the other object. And we'll put him, instead of these two guys, we'll put one of these guys. Great, so the menu for uh, the room uh, allows us to place object 5, which is the new enemy in there. Yeah. So let's play that. And so here's the first level. Yep. We're going to need to get through this without dying. So we just get all the scores. We're going to ignore the free man down there. Yeah. So now we've got an enemy and he's coming for us. Yeah. Here he is again, but you can escape him. But look at that, he's able to follow us. So let's yeah, one life left. see if we can get through it here. Oh, it's pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff.